Dear students, now we are going to discuss the basics of optical communication system. It is the type of communication in which the light signal is used to carry the information from source to destination. That is, transmitting the information signal optically through the fiber cable. It is the wired communication system. This is the basic structure of optical communication. Source generates the original information to be transmitted. Okay. Here the transmitter converts the electrical signal into optical signal. Optical fiber cable is the communication medium through which we can transmit the signal from one place to another place. Okay. Next one is receiver. So here we are using photo detector to detect the received signal. It converts the received optical signal into the electrical signal. Then the last one is destination where we can receive the original information from the source. Okay. So here the light is an electromagnetic signal. It can be modulated to carry the information. So here we are using light as a carrier signal to carry the information. So it can be modulated with respect to the message signal. The frequency of optical spectrum is from 10 to the power 11 to 10 to the power 16 hertz. So it can be categorized into three types, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet. Okay. In general, the range from 10 to the power 14 to 10 to the power 15 hertz is mainly used for optical communication system. Okay. Since the optical frequency is wider, there are different spectral bands used for optical fiber communication. The spectral bands are original band, extended band, short band, conventional band, long band and ultra long band. So this are the respective wavelengths for this bands. Okay. So next one is optical fiber. Okay. It is a cylindrical dielectric waveguide that operates at optical frequency range. So it is a cylindrical dielectric waveguide. Waveguide means it confines the electromagnetic energy within its surface in the form of light and also guides the light along the axis of the fiber cable. This is the basic structure of optical fiber. It consists of three layers, core, cladding and external coating or buffer coating. Core is the single solid dielectric cylinder through which we can transmit the optical signal okay so here it can be a pure silica material SiO2 okay so the next layer is cladding so this layer is mainly used to protect the core okay so and also reduce the scattering loss okay so this can be a glass material the next one is external coating so it is mainly used to strengthen the fiber cable. Okay. So that's what given here in the structure. Core is the single solid dielectric cylinder of radius A. Cladding reduces the scattering loss, increases the mechanical strength and protects the core. The final stage is mainly used to protect the fiber. Next, advantages of optical fiber. It is small in size and less weight. Its diameter is much smaller than other cables, hence it requires less storage space. Since it is made up of glass or plastic material, it is much lighter than other cables. Okay. So next advantage is wider bandwidth. So here it can cover several thousand gigahertz range. Okay. So here bandwidth is wider one. So it provides very high information carrying capacity okay so it can speed up the operation so it provides very high speed operation to carry large amount of data at a time so next one is low transmission losses since it provides very less signal attenuation it is mainly used for long distance transmission it has very high immunity to interference and crosstalk so it is free from electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference. 
it is not affected by lightning electricity sparking etc okay so it has very high immunity to interference as well as cross stuff it is highly secured transmission system so it can be used for military defense banking system and data communication so here it has very high immunity level for environmental changes so it is more resistant to environmental variations like weather high temperature etc it is not affected by corrosive liquids and gases so next one is safe and easy installation with less cost here the cost of fiber optic is less since it is small in size and lightweight it is safer and easier to install okay and it is highly reliable system that means the lifetime is about 20 to 30 years okay so this are the advantages of optical fiber system so next disadvantages here the initial cost of installation is very high so manufacturing the optical fiber is less cost but initial installation requires high cost okay so maintenance and repairing cost is also very expensive because of that particular equipment or specific optical equipments okay it requires skilled manpower to maintain or repair the optical system Optical fibers are more susceptible to bending loss and tensile stress, okay, than the copper cables. Here it has some losses like scattering, dispersion and reflection. So, this are the disadvantages of optical fiber system, okay. So, next one is applications. So, this optical communication system is widely used in telecommunications, video control and production switching unit example broadcast tv cable tv data transmission and distribution for example text audio or video okay so all the data can be transmitted and distributed using this fiber cable with high speed so next one is data communications for transmitting digital data between cpu and peripherals and then computer networking